welcome to video six of the Winja dev vlog. Uh, a couple new things to show this week. Um, so let's get started. First off, right away, you can see there is some new background art um, that I'm liking quite a bit. Here's a test platform um, that I made kind of quick. Liking that too, at least the colors. Uh, next up, a new feature. So as before, you can switch your active power by pressing the trigger buttons or whatever buttons that'll be configurable, I suppose. Um, but now I've realized that especially towards the end of the game when you have all the powers unlocked that flipping through all these can be kind of a pain even if you can go back and forth. So I've in implemented a new menu feature that I will show right now. So you can press a button and hold it and then choose which power you'd like to switch to and then that power will be active when the game on when you let go so that I feel like has worked out pretty well this um, selection isn't I still have to work on that and obviously these are just temp uh, the same graphics because I might as well just use them since they already had them so but I'm gonna clean that up eventually uh, all right on to the last thing uh, some improvements with the bug witch so anyone who watched the last video will know that um, oops. Um, the first I got a little feedback from my friends over at the uh, Milltown Game Dev Group, and so I've updated her to become a giant spider when she first uh, appears. So. Oops, that's, that is not the best uh, thing to use there. So as before, she turns into a bug swarm and goes to hide near the top of the board. And when she's up there, she will summon some other bugs that you can defeat to bring her back from her hiding place. Here she comes. Oof, I'm gonna die. So that's pretty much all the new stuff. Um, but I think it's coming along pretty nicely. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.